Hello everybody and welcome to J. Smith Takes a Quick Look at Time Rifters. Time Rifters is developed by Proton Studios and is a single player multiplayer game combined into one. It's, it's weird, it's strange and kind of what I mean by it is that uh, with the help of time I play as four different characters in a squad that are tasked to murder cubes. It's a little bit like Paranautical Activity meets Still Time, which I did a quick look at probably a couple months back. Um, so I'm going to be using time. I'm, gonna, I'm basically going to do a level, not going to be able to kill all the things, and then I'm going to do the same level again as a different character. Meanwhile, the first character that I played is still on the level. It's kind of it's weird and interesting. I love the look and style of this game. It reminds me of like Mirror's Edge, but um, I, I don't know. I, I really enjoy when... Companies make menus that are a little bit more outside the box. We see that we have our tutorial basically right here. It says all of our movement. Um, was to move, E is to use, move, uh, or excuse me, sprint, and then space to jump. Super, or shift and space bar to super jump. Voted on green light is still in development right now. You could get this uh, kind of quick look or, or, or demo. I guess, it, yeah, demo is what normal people call them. Demos on the website. Links and everything will be in the description. Uh, the graphics, gameplay, all that kind of menus right over here. You can see the, with the cogs, that is the, you know, the, the options. Uh, here is the music, or maybe is this, oh, this is the play. All right, so we're still good. Anywho, um, I have uh, accomplished everything that I think I can do in the uh, in the demo here so what I've done is the area arena one two three and four and also the boss 569 I swear to god I don't even make this shit up um, so what I'm gonna do is demonstrate a little bit of what uh, the game is all about so I'm actually going to start on uh, let's do arena two um, with some basic guns and then I'll move on to probably like arena 3 or something like that a little bit later uh, and we'll experiment with uh, some of the other guns that are available at my disposal so right now I have a scatter gun or like a shotgun I suppose but uh, or a flat can I guess that's what it's called um, but I can switch between a pistol and a, uh, a chain lightning attack gun so I have this character upgraded all the way with uh, the pistol um, I've only got a couple of upgrades with the shotgun and none of them with the laser beam So I'm gonna stick with the shotgun. So some of the uh, the weapons upgrades they cost the gold You get the gold by smashing the uh, uh, the, the little cubes. So uh, the each upgrade costs some money um, I've got two times bullets per shot and two times bullets per shot I can get two times bullets per shot. I can increase my fire rate and also get acid bullets um, But I am going to stick with this gun and let's get a move on this is one of the harder levels of the game. Everything is just kind of like spread out a bit. Uh, makes for really interesting uh, kind of gameplay and, and I've got to figure out how exactly to, to make it all work. So as you can see here, uh, the, the cubes are launching at me and I've got to shoot them. I don't know what this weird thing is, but it kind of pops up every now and then. Um, but the, the main idea, the objective for me, is to destroy all of these cubes that we see and uh, collect all of their itty bitty star bits, uh, which will allow me to eventually uh, get new weapons upgrades for, for all of my different characters. Uh, I could switch all my, my weapons on the fly, so I, I, like I did show you a little bit before, I did have this character fully upgraded with one of the, the weapons. Um, and that's, I think I have almost all my characters fully upgraded with at least one weapon. Um, so this is the, the, the game, the round ends right there. I didn't do very well at all, I got, what is that, 70 out of like 140, so I got like half as many as I needed to get. So here is my second character, my first character will probably be that guy, and that's me talking to you right now about everything, so yeah, he'll move eventually. So I have a pistol, or what do I have even upgraded with this guy, it looks like, this guy was my chain lightning guy. So I still don't even have enough gold to upgrade that, but for this time, for this particular round, we are going to stick with our pistol uh, again. Or, you know what? Alright, so I showed you what it's like to have something not upgraded very much, so let's do something that does have this upgraded a lot more. So if I had to wait for that guy every time, I'm going to be sad, man. My, I guess he'll come out eventually. Maybe, oh, no, he's over there. Alright, cool. So that's interesting. So with this gun, I have the, the full range to, uh, well, it, it has a lot more like Tesla ability. So I'm shooting one of these red things and the, the shot really just kind of spreads to uh, shoot everything else on the screen as well. So I'm just going to hopefully be able to murder all of these red cubes here. I got 
I got a, I got a good amount. Um, what I like about this game is the fact that it kind of does have that little mix of, of time elements. You know, I think that's going to be a trend that we're going to see a lot more lately, being able to control different uh, characters, or like the same character multiple times. Um, I think that's going to be something that we will see a lot more of in the future, but uh, I like it. I like it a lot. The The whole mechanics of it's it's a fast game. So with the levels only lasting one minute, it basically it takes like five minutes if you you to get everything from start to finish if you're also shopping and everything as well. So this character is not upgraded with the Tesla gun, but is upgraded with the pistol. So let's look at how much, we saw how much a pistol can not do damage-wise, did we? I think, maybe not. Um, but here's, uh, here's what we'll do with this one. We will help out. So the, the difference between the white and the red cubes, if you haven't noticed yet, um, and because I haven't done a really good job of explaining it, is that the white cubes last a little bit longer than the red cubes, so they take a little bit more damage to, uh, to kill. Uh, I'm gonna stand back here and hopefully be able to get, uh, oh, but I fell to the bottom, which isn't a good thing, so this character is basically gonna be useless, um, for a long time. Um, I don't even think I'll be able to get back up to the top. Let's see. So this is the, this is one of the shitty things. The, the world is, like, open. Uh, but like, can't, if you fall down, you're basically pretty screwed. I could try to jump my way back up, uh, but the platforming in this game is pretty bad. This is not supposed to be a, a platformer first person shooter, and if anyone ever considers it, then they're, I would consider them wrong. So here we go again on my own, and I am going to hopefully get back at this game, and we'll try to use my shotgun here. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to uh, save some sort of face here, but I kind of doubt it. So with my shotgun, I'm going to really be able to do some really nice damage here with amongst the cubes that I have to kill. Um, I love the art style. It's like, like I said, it, it just reminds me of, you know, Mirror's Edge or something. I really like that kind of art style. It's crisp, it's clean. Um, the... Everything just kind of works together. The one thing that I do have to say about like all the weaponry, it, it's nice to have you know the the variations in all the different uh, guns, um, but it just feels like all I need to do is click the middle or click ma the left mouse button, and the the game kind of like does the rest for me, which is a little sad. There's not too much variety right now, as like you know I've only done the first world essentially up to the boss, but. Uh, you know, it's. I, I just wish there was a little bit more to do, I guess. Maybe it's just this particular level, but we'll check out another level. So, the first level really served as a tutorial for Arena 1. Uh, Arena 2, more of the same. Arena 3 shoves you into this kind of like jungle place. Uh, Arena 4 is uh, a little bit more difficult. So, let's try out Arena 3. I've, I've always had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, just because the the way that the blocks come at you and, and move across the screen is a little bit more interesting than uh, how it normally probably would be. So I have 1,102, so what I could do is get acid bullets with this, and I'll be able to start my journey forward. So we got 55 seconds on the clock. Our first enemy is going to come up through this corridor, so we are going to shoot at him. And, surprise, surprise, it's a big old tarantula. Uh, so this particular level, it's basically two tarantulas will come out of this hole, and I am tasked to murder them. Is there something not going on with the uh, the options here? I don't hear any more sound. Maybe I turned my volume down. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so I, that was me. I turned my own volume down in my headset a little bit too low, so I couldn't hear anything while you guys could hear everything. So we got to go back here, and another tarantula is coming out at us, so we are going to try to disintegrate him as fast as possible. This is probably one of the easier stages of the game, I would say. Um, but I really just, I like I like the idea of, of using, you know, the blocks to make something like a creature. So I like the idea of using, you know, a tarantula in the midst of, of like a pixelated tarantula. It's like, it's something like how I said earlier, out of paranautical activity, how everything's kind of made of those voxels. Um, can, yeah, let's see if I can do this. I should be able to. Um, I think, 
if you got like everything almost upgraded completely, uh, your chances of murdering things and like even like the first round become dramatically like real. Uh, depending on what gun that you have, I really like the, the Tesla gun because it's able to shoot off in many different directions, depending on where you fire the first shot. So if it's rounded, if you shoot at this white thing and it was rounded by a whole bunch of other uh, pixels or voxels, you're basically going to be able to take out a, uh, a ton more than what you bargained for. So I will continue holding in the left mouse button. So like again, like I said, there's, there's only so much of like tactical stuff that you can do. Um, I guess that's not completely true. If you upgrade, it, it becomes significantly easier. So while you're you're in the early game, a lot of what you'll be kind of focusing on, especially in this battle, is like okay, so the first person's up. What I'm going to do is focus on the the middle. Uh, like his his teeth in like the middle section and the second person comes up well that person has the middle section so obviously I'm gonna go after say the the left side of them or and then eventually goes to the right side and everything just kind of works uh, together in a really nice harmony uh, to to make everything basically murderable so with this gun I've got a whole ton of potential damage to do to this person. I wish the, the guns had a little bit more weight to them as well. Um, so when I hold down the mouse button, I just kind of wish like the game made me seem like I was doing more than firing basically like sunbeams or, or little lasers. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's too much weight. There's not too much uh, audio cues that you're, you're shooting something that's big and heavy and, and can do all of this damage. It just doesn't white work for me in this sense of it right now, at least in this particular build. Um, like I did mention, it is currently under development, but uh, should be available. Um, well, obviously vote for it on Greenlight if you like it, and uh, go download the demo if you are inclined as well. Um, so we got one more for us here, and then I think I will showcase the, the boss battle as well, just because I think it's a little bit more interesting in terms of uh, how you take on the boss. Although I'm sure if you played like games like this, you can probably guess already what the boss battle will be like. Um, but if not, it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole lot of fun, anyways. I think the boss battle only gives you again just one minute on the clock, and you're tasked to uh, basically try to obliterate it as fast as humanly possible. I should be able to get a 100% run on this, although I've done that before, so I've missed like uh, as a total zero. But for whatever reason, it's still, I think this is the one that shows I've only accomplished uh, 99%. Which I don't know if I'm missing something or if there's something else that I need to do to get the 100%. Like the one extra percentage point uh, would be nice to have. But uh, So when the fireworks go off, that's it. You beat the, you beat the mission um, even before time, which is pretty awesome. So that is that level. And we'll do one more level for you guys as well, which will be the, the boss fight here. So, no, I did get 100%. I got 100% there. So, 200%. I don't know how I missed one in Arena 1. Uh, Arena 4 gets really difficult. But uh, there are different uh, kind of levels. Um, or maybe the levels is the wrong word. Where do I want to go? Let's go back to our pistol because that is fully upgraded. So, in this particular arena, I am going to stand here. And that is going to build a bridge. When I get off, obviously, it, it goes away. So all I'm going to do is basically hope um, that I don't fall off when I do this later on. Um, but shoot at this person for a minute. Nothing is going to happen because the thing that I'm supposed to be shooting at is inside of this container. What I'm going to be able to do after I do this is I'm going to be able to use another one of my characters. Jump, run across this bridge onto that. And I am getting progress, so I am damaging it somehow. I managed to do 10.1% damage, which is significant, really. Um, but I will be another one of my characters. And how much does... Okay, so we're still on the upgraded person. Let's go over here. I wonder if I could just jump across. I probably... Oh, no, that's... Oh, God, it's gonna... Phew, that was close. I think I glitched it out somehow. But we are back, and I'm going to just stand over here and fire inside of this machine. So, the progress is jumping up, so it's above 20% already, almost at 30. Um, and this is how the boss battles are going to work, and I assume as uh, we get later on the stages, it's going to get a whole lot more uh, difficult 
um, with the buttons that you probably have to press and the, the timing and everything as well. So went up from 10% to 34.6%, so that's pretty significant, I would say. Um, but for now, we will be another character uh, and get a move on. So I want to stand on this, and I want to just basically continually shoot at this creature. And so next time, I am going to have another character be me, uh, and I'll be able to run across the bridge and open him up even further. It'd be hilarious if I was able to, to beat this. Where is my... I don't even... I guess I need to be over on one of the side posts to see how much percent damage I'm doing, but... In any case, it should got to be good. Oh, there it is. 62% damage. What, it couldn't be, you know, 3% more? Oh, come on. 96. Fuh. Hmm. All right, all right. So all I need is 5%, and I'll be the, the best person in the entire world. So let's try this out one more time. This character is going to jump on there. Don't fall off, please. And then I will run and jump across. Oh, I got into the raptors there. And it is going to be hopefully completely open now. Or more open than it was. So progress is escalating. We got I did see it stop on 69 for a second there. You can't make this shit up, and I defeated the boss. I'll just jump in and see what happens. So thanks for playing Time Rifters. You can follow them at, at Proton Studio Inc. on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter, JSmithOTI. Thank you all very much for joining with me today. It's been a whole lot of fun hanging out with you, and I will see you next time. Obviously, links and everything will be in the description. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. Uh, the, the things I liked about this game, uh, really interesting kind of art style. I love it. Uh, pretty cool time mechanic being another people from all my different, uh, from my past lives, I suppose. Ooh, I like seeing my feet. Like I'm moonwalking. Um, another good thing, or another, like, kind of like the bad thing is that the audio soundtrack kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of dubstep, but... Uh, you know, I guess I could just turn it down or mute it or turn something else on. I don't know. Any case, I love you guys. Thank you very much for joining with me. Time Rifters, thumbs up. I really enjoy it. Uh, give it a thumbs up on Greenlight if you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you next time on uh, YouTube.com slash We'll see you later.